Hey TLT, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. So on Dunar File Manager. I talked about it on uh the Saturday's podcast. I wasn't able to kind of show it off, but I felt that I should show it off because it's a great little file manager. It's lightweight, made by XFCE for the XFCE desktop. Uh some things that you can do with it that will help you make it more efficient and, and more productive for you. Before we do that though, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe button, and the notification. It helps me get my videos viewed more. And so here is what your basic Thunar file manager looks like. This is mine on my daily driver system. I use it daily. I enjoy it. It's lightweight. It has all the functionality that I need. It is simple and basic. It looks just like almost all your other file managers that you'll find out there with PC Man FM, like Dolphin for KDE. Files for GNOME, yada, 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 yada. They all look the same. It's a graphical user interface file manager. First thing, the layout. You have over in the left-hand pane, you actually have shortcuts that are put here uh, from your actual uh, folders like pictures, documents, uh, .config I added, you know, by simply going up here to bookmarks. What you do is you navigate to the, like, we'll go to DVD CSS, right? Go to bookmarks, and then you say add bookmark. And now it's on your side pane. To remove it, you right click on it and you click remove shortcut. And bye bye, it goes. Uh, we're going to click this one and we're going to remove this one too because I don't need you guys seeing any sensitive information that had an IP address there. So, anyhow, so that is how you can do that. Now, uh, say you do a tree, like you want to do a nerd tree. Well, all you do is you hit control E. And it changes it to nerd tree style. When you click on this, boom, there's everything you need right there. Very much so nerd tree style. But say you like the shortcuts, you hit control B and you're back to the shortcuts. That brings me to another uh, thing I want to talk about for shortcuts that are built into uh, Dunar, which a couple of them that I just want to highlight. Nothing major. So I did the control E, control B. Now there's Control H hides your actual dot files. And so if you've got, like I got a lot of dot files in there because of different things that I do, you want to hide it, kind of clean it up a little bit, just do Control H and it cleans it up for you. Then you can get down to the nitty gritty of what you are. Now, uh, another one that I think is kind of cool is uh, F3. Just hitting the F3 button brings a pain, a side-by-side view so that that way you can like copy between different folders really fastly like say uh you open up public right this is a shared one and i want to put in my brave icon i can do it right like that just like that no big deal i can do like this and then i can actually you know do whatever i want leave it there whatever and so there is that to make the the, the side by side go away I just hit f3 again navigate onto it and you hit uh, you hit F3 again, and it goes away. Now, whichever one you're on is what it's going to be at. So if I click on, like, Alex Home, sorry, Alex Home, it opens up my home one. So if I'm on this one, I click F3, it should close. Uh, home, there we go. So F3 opens it, F3 gets rid of it again, whatever it is that you want. So either way, that is another productivity thing that you can do with using f3 to actually you know transfer files faster and easier say you don't want to do the actual side-by-side -side view but you actually want to look in a different file or directory somewhere and not get caught up like i just did a little bit there where i was closing out the wrong side pane well you can actually open up a tab because uh, it has tabbing available so you hit Control t and it opens up another tab now watch go into a different one See, now there is 
all my files, it can, you know, with my unhidden stuff. I went into i3, and that's a different one. So now I can actually navigate in here, do whatever I want, do whatever. If I want to close it, all I got to do is simply click this X over here, and it's all gone. And then now when I hit another tab, it should be just like the one that I'm opening in right now. And if I could control H because it's a mirror of it, it should hide all my hidden files on both of them. Okay, like that. Close the second tab. We're good to go. So that is something that you can do with Thunar to kind of easily navigate around it. Really, really well put together for you. Now, if you want to open uh, a file manager and go back to where you left off, Oftentimes, that is not a setting that's enabled. That is something that you have to enable. Uh, in Thunar is no exception. To do that, all you do is you go to your, you click on Edit, go to Preferences, and then in here you can um, go under the Behavior tab, and then you can uh, restore tabs on Startup right here. Um, that will open up whatever because it's one tab, it's considering it as one large tab, it'll restore it right to where you left off. If you undo that, then it will not restore there. It'll go back to your home directory all the time, default to that all the time. So, and also you could do uh, new instances with Thunar and tabs. You could also do where you could have new tabs on, on a middle click uh, and also pull directory pass in the tab titles uh, as well. Uh, those are different things you can do and all, you can do single click to activate items in other words you can do it so instead of double clicking you can hit single click right here so that is other behaviors that you can enable this one is where you're making it look and feel like what you want so if you want it to stand out if you'd like to file the folder to stand out when you first open it like say i go to documents right yeah i got all these folders out here this is like a, a link to music this is a link to my download link to my pictures whatever if i want to make any of these stand out all I got to do is basically like um, if I go to my desktop, as you can see, I made these guys already stand out like my Linux 2 file folder, my videos file folder, which has videos in it that I do for making, you know, my my for you guys. Um, let's do I3. here. So in order to do that, all you do is you right click on it, go to properties. You want to add an emblem like that video recorder emblem that I got up here or the music notes here. Yeah, I just want to add. Oh, I don't know. Just pick an emblem. Let's pick one. Let's do what the heck? Let's do uh, let's do this yellow one. So I click this yellow one. And I hit close, and now if I navigate, that emblem's there. Now, say I want to highlight that folder. Go back to your properties, go to highlight. Now you have the foreground and the background. Now you can set from this color palette right here if you'd like, or you can choose from any of these as well. So let's go ahead and make that one. Um, let's make it a nice yellow folder. Okay, we'll go greenish. Go like this. We'll make it yellow, and we're going to go like this. We're going to add that, and we're going to set that as say let's go with it as the foreground i'm going to hit apply when you navigate okay you see how i3 changed to yellow the text that changed to yellow cool so now we want to set the background right so say we want to set the background to like this purple because purple and yellow is kind of cool so we click that we set that background we hit apply text now we click away from it and now it's got a purple background with the yellow text and the yellow cool check. So it all matches. It's very uniform. You can do that for each and every one of these folders if you want. That is a lot of work to do that, but you can do that. So that is something that you can add. You can highlight the folder. Now, uh, they have different plugins, and I'm going to show you a web page that you can go and look at. So here's the web page. It is docs.xfce.org right here. It's under XFCE, Thunar, and then Start. And it's basically helping you get set up with the Thunar file manager. It has 
instructions for um, doing Thunar plugins. That's what I want to focus on because that is another way of customizing Thunar for yourself to be the most efficient and flexible for you. They have a bulk renamer plugin that you can put in. If you click on it, it shows you what it looks like and how to use it, and then it tells you how to do it just as well as to, you know, where to get the plugin. Like down here, you click for the plugins right here, and it takes you back to your plugins for Archiver, all that good stuff. So um, then you have uh, Actions Plugin, which is for adding custom actions uh, on to actual Thunar. So you could run like shell scripts or, you know, different uh, scripts to run as a file or whatever, you know, you need to, to, to do to make it to run actionably in like terminal or whatever. They have media plugin, media tag plugins. They have wallpaper plugins. They have VS plugins. They also have uh, thumbnailer plugins, which is deprecated. So we don't know if it's being worked on or not. And then they also have volume uh, manager plugins and then reporting bugs as well. So those are those plugins that you can get that are, that are uh, project plugins uh for uh um custom add-on plugins that are you know unofficial ones uh but then they have the standard ones which is a bulk renamer the custom action ones which is actually maintained by xfce not a third-party one uh the the archive plugin which is also the one that they maintain and then the um the volume manager that is not deprecated and the actual vs plugin as well so and then they got GTK Bash, and then they got G, uh, Rap, Rabbit VCS for Thunar as well. So which is like uh, uh, Git and SVCN control. So they have those different um, plugins that you can do. That is a look at Thunar and its huge flexibility that that it actually has. It's surprisingly minimal in to start with, but it's very customizable. Uh, it, I've used PC Man FM for a while, Dolphin for a while, GNOME files for a while, and I just keep migrating back to Thunar. I don't know why. I just love it. It's rock solid. It does what I need it to do, and I can make it look and feel how I want, and I can add different scripts and plugins that I need to make it happen as well. And so, I, I mean, it just it's just great. If you've used it and you didn't like it, Tell me why. If you haven't used it and you tried it out and you loved it, tell me why. If you love it and you use it like I do, tell me why. Basically, just tell me how you feel about Thunar. And, you know, if it works for you, then tell me why it works for you, really why it works for you. Because for me, it just is simple and it's basic and I could strip it down to whatever it is that I need. And uh, I mean, it's not a terminal, you know, type file manager like Ranger or Midnight Commander. It's a graphical one that is extremely minimal and enjoyable. And it looks pretty right out the box. And it supports Samba, which is important, right out the box. You don't have to add a plug-in or anything like that for it. So, But either way, y'all keep doing what you do. Y'all keep on Linuxing. Y'all stay safe and blessed. Y'all have a great day. And I'll see you in the very, very next video.